Let's pull it back to Ellen as a person and Ellen as a show. In many ways, they are separate entities, but the fact that the latter is built on the former means that no matter what the producers asserted, this was as much Ellen's problem as it was anyone else's. As one of these staff members said, if she wants to have her own show and have her name on the show title, she needs to be more involved to see what's going on. One of the greatest problems with this industry is that there's often this separation between individual hosts and the productions behind them. That seems easy to forget as an audience member, but it is understandable when the host has a more passive role such as in certain reality programs or televised talent contests. And even then, in many ways, as an anchor to the experience, a presenter can't expect to be focused on controlling every aspect behind the scenes. However, this was reaching a point where Ellen's neutrality would be seen as a tasked endorsement of an undesirable status quo. The allegations were well-founded, and so she needed to say something. Before she could say anything, though, Warner Bros. stepped in to launch their own exhaustive internal investigation, which would determine the source of the problem. On July 27th, Variety reported that a memo had been sent out to staff members the week before, announcing the upcoming audit. With the consultation of a third-party organization and an employee relations group, interviews were held and circumstances were assessed, and three days after the initial story was published, Warner Bros. released a statement on the findings of their assessment, revealing, quote, deficiencies in the workplace environment, while also signifying that changes would be made. This was a statement made both on behalf of the company and 